let's dive into the Amazon River Dolphin, which was suggested by Oliver Vland. Thank you for suggesting. This was a very interesting one. If you're new here, I'm All Things Marine. Go ahead and click that subscribe button if you love the ocean as much as I do, and make sure you smash that notification bell as well so you don't miss out on any of the weird ocean creatures that I talk about. Also known as the Bodo, Amazon River dolphins are very strange marine mammals, especially since they can be found swimming in the Amazon River. These dolphins tend to be gray or pink in color, but studies show that their color may slightly differ between individuals. These dolphins are smaller dolphins and usually grow to 8 feet long in weights of around 200 to 400 pounds. They have a very long beak when compared to other dolphin species and they use this for capturing prey that hides in holes or logs such as small crustaceans or fish. What is very interesting about these dolphins is that they have surprisingly bad eyesight which is partially explained by the fact that they live in murky water where the visibility is not that high to begin with. Therefore they do not need perfect eyesight. However, they use echolocation like many cetaceans do to find their way around in the Amazon River. They usually swim near the river bottom searching for food and have actually been known to eat piranhas on some occasions. During the mating season, the males get very aggressive and will fight each other over a female, and the gestation period for these wonderful creatures is around 9 months, much like humans. Some populations of these animals are very close to being extinct, and this is partly due to the fact that they live in very shallow water, so they are very vulnerable to boats. These animals have also been known to fall prey to jaguars, caiman, and even anacondas on some occasions. What's very interesting to note about these animals is that, unlike their other cetacean cousins, these dolphins usually have the females being larger than the males. When in the marine world, most of the cetaceans are the opposite, where the males are larger. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. Next time on All Things Marine.